I want to talk to you a little bit about brill, which is a flat fish, similar to turbot, but it's firmer than place. And a flat fish means that it has four fillets. Delicious flavour. And I'm just going to show you the art of just pan frying it. So you have four fillets on the brill, which is taken off. Um, your fishmonger will do this. There's no bone, there's no skin. But be clever, use the bones for making fish stock. So make sure your pan is nice and hot. I'm using some rapeseed oil. So a nice drizzle of that. So with this, we're going to serve it with some orzo, which is a pasta in the shape of rice. But I'm going to put some smoked salmon, a little bit of herbs and lemon. The two should work really, really well. So a little bit of salt, just in your fish. Season side down onto the pan. Two of those fillets there. I'm going to let that cook for a minute. The orzo, this is it here, raw. For about eight minutes, I've boiled it in some boiling water with a pinch of salt and a little bit of turmeric. So it looks like rice, but it's pasta. When you cook it, what we like to do in the restaurant is refresh it. That means run it cold water through it to stop it from sticking. So this is cold. So all we're going to do is warm this up. Into the pan, which should be hot, put some cream, all of that. We're going to put in our orzo, and then we're going to put the zest of some lemon. Lemon works exceptionally well with this. Before I turn the fish, I'm going to put some thyme. Thyme is a particularly lovely herb with fish. You just break it kind of rip it like that, sprinkle it over, and you're going to hear a crackling a little bit. That's releasing that lovely flavour. We're going to put in some butter, a couple of cubes of butter. One more for luck. So let that cook away there. And then every so often, if you just look at the orzo. So we've added in our cream. You could put in some pesto into it. Now I'm going to turn this down a little bit because I'm just warming through the orzo. I'm going to chop some smoked salmon. So I'm going to dice this in here. Which you could use crab, sun-dried tomatoes, and even some prawns. Some chopped chives, lots of them, and then a little bit of basil. So we're using three different herbs here. Time for the fish, which I'm going to flick over in a minute. The basil, and then we have the chives also in the orzo. So you don't have to cut it too fine. Just arrange that in there, and then stir this through. And that is our orzo. A little touch of salt in there. I'm going to turn that off there. So it's the turmeric, or you can use the saffron. Saffron's a bit more expensive. That gives it that beautiful, vibrant colour. So I'll just use my tongs, probably the easiest. That's lovely. Now, one thing we don't want is fish that dries out. And what stops that is a little bit of fish stock. So with the bones from the brill, you put into a saucepan of water, and you cover it with some water, white wine, some sliced onion, a little bit of leek, fennel if you want to, bay leaf, a little bit of thyme works really well. Not too much. We're not poaching it, but you're going to get lovely flavour from the butter and the thyme works really, really well. With some lemon juice, just a squeeze here. Really most important tip, hot pan, oil, butter. The thyme is a little bit of an addition. The lemon juice is important and the fish stock, or you can use a vegetable stock. Now, we're going to serve up. Place it in the middle of the plate. I don't think you need a sauce with this. I think the fish should be lovely and moist. Just lift up the brill. It is hot. Now you could get away with serving one, but we're going to be generous. We've cooked the two of them. So much flavour still in the pan. Don't waste that. And that's a fish that I'd love you to try. My pan-fried fillet of brill, done with a little bit of thyme, a little touch of lemon, and some fish stock with my smoked salmon orzo. Irish seafood. Easy to prepare and easy to cook for everyday meals.